Gemini 3.0 is insane. So I was able to build this entire mobile with just a single prompt. So let me show you how it looks like. So if I click on here, you have this beautiful looking dashboard. You can go onto this screen and you can see all of the reports found. Okay, this button isn't working. You have this chart application UI already here. You can see this beautiful carousal typey, you know, UI. And this is the setting screen. So, I mean, this is the first time I have one shotted this beautiful looking UI and that was made possible thanks to Gemini 3.0. I'm really excited that how it is going to really revolutionize the way we build, uh, you know, front ends. So I have been experimenting with it inside Cursor also. So yeah, Cursor also, you know, brought this inside their agent and it's not as good as Sonnet 4.5, I would say when it comes to coding tasks, but when it comes to UI, it is insane. So today I'll walk you through the exact process that I took in order to create this mobile app so you could replicate it. In the future, I plan to do a dedicated video on how I built beautiful looking UIs totally using AI and how Gemini 3.0 is going to revolutionize that workflow. But let me show you how it looks like. So first you go to Dribble and you start looking for inspiration. So here, you know, I just got onto the home page and I was able to see this beautiful looking UI. So I just, uh, you know, screenshotted it and I brought that inside my custom GPT called Snap Prompt. So Snap Prompt is basically a custom GPT that I created around nine to 10 months ago. And here you can just drop in your screenshot and it gives you a detailed prompt, which you can then take inside Lovable or Cursor or whatever tool you want. This time I use Google AI Studio because obviously Gemini 3.5 is from them only and what I did is I took the screenshot and I also took this prompt copied it and as you can see I just dropped it inside AI studio you know this is the prompt and this is the image and that is it I did nothing else as you can see this is just a single prompt and Gemini was able to you know replicate the fonts it was able to replicate the color palette the entire vibe and theme of the screenshot and it's just amazing so I plan to deep dive into Gemini 3.0 you know this week onwards we'll be using it on some of my client projects and let's see, you know, how it works inside Cursor for creating UIs. So very soon, all of the other tools would also come up with Gemini 3.0 for sure. So Lovable will have it. Cursor already has it. So stay tuned. But this can really revolutionize the way we build front ends now. As you can see, I mean, the result is in front of your eyes. Just a single prompt. And we got this beautiful looking UI up and running. So yeah, guys, pretty much it. Just wanted to do this quick video to show you how exactly I created this mobile app. And definitely this is the UI. You can proceed with adding backend and stuff, but this was dedicated totally to the front end. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.